Hey y'all, welcome back to Jay's Jeep and Classic Car Channel. Today we are going to do the last little details I need to do to really get this thing on the road, like put water in the radiator and maybe tighten up the master cylinder, all that kind of stuff. I was going to put the bra uh, heat bracket in, but we're just going to hold on that and we're going to just tighten that up and uh, do that on a later video. So the whole kind of goal today is to get it uh, ready to run at least uh, to test it out we'll probably pull the tires away from the rotors and see if we can't get some spinny spinny out of all the axle so anyway come on with me on the adventure and uh let's see where we go sky's the limit okay so what we're going to do is we're going to take this two liter bottle and uh this is all water at this point and we're going to put it in and then we're going to fill this up with two liters of antifreeze put it in so the system actually uh, holds 11 qu quarts which is about i don't know about six of these five and a half of these so um we're going to just kind of uh, take it little by little uh but for the time being we're just going to put one water uh one two liter of water and then one two liter of uh antifreeze in and then we'll know that we have that 50-50 mixture and then we'll just continue doing that until we kind of get it fixed or uh, as we get close to the top uh, we will probably use a different container uh, for that last little bit okay nothing real earth shattering about putting water in uh, the only real concern we got right now is uh, if we have a leak somewhere and I just want to make sure I've tightened up all my uh, clamps which I have it appears and so um, hopefully the, the leak repairs that we've done will work uh, if not it's going to leak to the ground so that's why we're going with water first is uh, I don't want to waste the expensive stuff which is the antifreeze so we're just going to put this in of course you want to use a clean tool two liter uh, bottle. Um, I cleaned this one out really well uh, before I used it. Okay, so this is one of those heartbreaking moments. Uh, you see that? Yeah, it's leaking. It's leaking big time. And I'm guessing uh, it's from where I put the hose on. Uh, probably just stressed that and uh, cracked it some more. When I tested it on the bench, tested fine. Really frustrated by that. Uh, so my two choices are either, well really three choices. One, pull it out, find somebody that can braise it. And I, that's a, uh, an option that I might explore. Two, buy a new radiator. And that's fairly an ex uh, expensive option. Or three, I've got this Aluma seal stuff. Um, it's supposed to stop leaks. I don't know how well it works or if it will work at all. I'm gonna shove this in there and uh, put another two liters of water in there and see if we can't get it to stop um, while well, we can. This is why we put water in first. It's cause I didn't want all my expensive uh, antifreeze to go to the ground. Add this stuff in. Um, that's not what I expected. See that? Almost looks like sawdust, but I don't know. We're going to put it in. Of course, it all kind of stops up here at the top. So we're going to go fill up our two liter full of water and flush it on down to the bottom. And hopefully, it will at least slow that down. So we're just adding the water. It says you're supposed to run the engine uh, for a while while you, after you get this thing in here. So we're going to go hook up the engine and let it circulate for a while. But you're supposed to put it in cold and then uh, run it until it's kind of hot. So, Well, it also appears that my freeze plugs are leaking. And one thing is another. Um, I'm thinking that's the only one right there that's leaking. Uh, 
I don't see any others, but we're going to start let this thing circulate for a little bit and uh, see what we get. So yeah, I don't know what I really expected, but it's a little frustrating to have a bunch of leaks like that. And it's really frustrating because these kind of leaks are kind of sometimes hard to fix. So yeah, hopefully this Aluma fix will, or Aluma seal or whatever it's called, will kind of seal all this stuff up. Anyway, we're going to start her up and uh, see what we can get. All right, we got it started here. I had to put a little uh, starter fluid in, and once I did that, it was fine. Okay, so we're running. Definitely burning some uh, some oil here. Hopefully, that will kind of uh, burn out, but we'll see. So she's not leaking right now. So that stuff either works, or I'm running out of water. like a sieve. Just put her in gear. Look at that. Yeah, she'll roll. That's a very good sign right there. Very good sign. Put the clutch in. And it stopped. Take the clutch out. It rolls. That works. Starting to get a little temperature. Got a little pressure. Got speedometer. I think some of that's just burning the paint off. I think she may go somewhere if I actually put wheels on it. That's pretty exciting. I don't know how long it'll last, but it seems to be running for now. Second gear. paint's burning off that paint and all the dirt and everything else is burning off let's check back here still got a little oil in it but not like it was temperature 220 got to shut her down Woo, that ain't good that ain't good at all So I did some temperature reading. We were looking about 200 uh, right in this area, 200 here, 200 up here, or 189, 190. Um, exhaust was running about 500 and something degrees, uh, but down here is at 100. So uh, definitely uh, some good temperature variant. Uh, here was 130. So, um, yeah, I think we were getting some good circulation. Uh, just probably didn't have enough fluid in there. Um, I'm just kind of, I'm torn. Do, do I fill it up with just water, knowing that it's gonna hard freeze tonight, and just try to drain it out as best I can? Or do I um, put antifreeze in it, or run it low, or what? So. Uh, right now, we just got to kind of uh, let it cool down, and then we'll get back into it. 
I can put water in it, and I think I am, and I'll probably just pour it at the end of the day uh, off the water pump and let it drain out for the most part and just kind of let it circulate through. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to research a little bit about uh, what voltage and all should be coming out of the voltage regulator. And uh, we'll probably turn it over and probably well, also add more water to the thing and in the hopes of it seal itself up. Um, good news is the, the leak that was down here seems to have uh, sealed up. So really, right now, it's just that uh, freeze plug that's leaking. And I'm pretty sure I can put um, some sort of paste or, or something like that over that to seal that up or just replace the freeze plug. So good, good news there. Unfortunately, you might have to pull the starter up to do that. <sighs> it's always something. It's always something. But uh, obviously, long-term fix is to replace that freeze plug and, and get that uh, correct. But um, for the time being, I may just put a little bit of that um, putty stuff in there and try to get it to seal up. So. All right, so I got this putty stuff, and we're gonna put it in there. It's dark; you can't see it, uh, and I can't do it with one hand. So, because uh, I need a flashlight, so we're just gonna do that off camera slap it in there, try to slow that leak down at least on the engine. So yeah, I'm just going to flatten it out like this and uh, as you can see, kind of put it up where that freeze plug is. Alright, so we definitely have a leak right here. We got a crack right in here. Uh, this thing just has a lot of cracks. So, just really frustrated by that. Um, but uh, we're going to try to seal that up a little quick and uh, see what we can get. Alright, so we started it back up just to see what we got. Looks like we still have a leak over here on the top of the radiator. James is helping me out. Uh, a little scary with all the loud noise. So, uh, what it appears to be is we still have a leak. Um, we're getting six volts out towards the panel so that's good um, and so not sure what else we need to test I'm just going to let it run for a little bit and uh, just to circulate that uh, aluminum seal stuff up if you notice we're not burning oil like we were so that's fantastic. He's not sure what exactly what's going on, but uh, he's enjoying just looking at everything. All right, so I put that little patch right there. Seems to be holding. This patch up here seems to be holding. That's fantastic news. So we've run the thing out of gas at this point. And so we're gonna fill her back up. James is helping me out. What you got to say, James? Huh? Yeah, he's not so sure about all this. Uh, makes a lot of noise and it's a little bit scary, but it's okay. Uh, he's figuring it out, but he's excited about being down here with Daddy. Anyway, power popper moment. Sorry. So we're just kind of watching her. Uh, tailpipe's nice and clear. Not burning oil like it was. Temperature's staying steady right now. And so we're just kind of watching it and seeing what we got. Okay, so the sun's starting to go down. I've put the uh, radiator fluid, i.e. water, just uh, out of the radiator at the time being. Just because it's going to get below freezing tonight. Um, so I think we're kind of done for the night. James is kind of starting to run out of steam, and so we don't want to push it too far. So um, yeah, that's where we're at. So it ran. Uh, the wheels turned. That's a, a great sign. And so that's where we're at. 
Um, I, I think we're about ready to put it on the road. We still have a little, a couple little leaks on the radiator system, and coolant system, uh, which we'll address. I appreciate y'all watching and joining the adventure. I think that's enough adventure for the day. We'll uh, come back and on another day and pick up where we left off. So y'all take care. It's time for supper.